due to be closed by British coal, but the miners bought it for £2 million in the government sell-off. The first shift goes underground tomorrow. And that's it from the Channel 4 newsroom. Good evening. It's the organization that kept $4 million in a cupboard. The money was stolen. No one was sacked. A senior official ran a call girl ring. It's the organization whose peacekeepers made war on the very people it was supposed to protect. And it's the organization that turned its back on genocide in Rwanda. In this, its 50th year, Channel 4 exposes the dark side of the United Nations. UN Blue starts tomorrow at 9 on 4. And now a look at the weather. Isolated snow showers may affect southeast England, but most of Britain will be dry and clear overnight. There'll be a widespread frost, moderate to severe in places, with temperatures between minus 2 and minus 7 degrees Celsius. Threatening southeast winds will bring slightly milder conditions to Northern Ireland before morning. Tomorrow, strong southeast winds will bring rain to Northern Ireland during the afternoon, but the rest of Britain will be dry, with some sunshine after a very cold start. So the outlook, windy with rain at times, then brighter and colder again with showers. At 12.30 on December the 21st, 1970, a secret meeting was held at the White House. There were no television crews in attendance and no hidden microphones to record the conversation. For 20 minutes, Richard Nixon and Elvis Presley talked. Elvis, the King Meets the President, a Without Wall special, tonight at 9 on 4. This is Channel 4, paying tribute to Elvis Presley. I like Elvis. He makes an old man feel young. In fact, he makes a middle-aged man feel young. When I was young, he was already pretty old. But Jailhouse Rock beat it. We focus on the King as movie star now on 4. An intriguing documentary looks at just what happened when the motion picture bosses came knocking on the door. Elvis in Hollywood. Okay, let's do it. 